and welcome everyone. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Emma. I make videos all about 60s and 70s fashion, makeup, pop culture and music. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I put together an outfit. So one of the questions I get asked the most is how I put together an outfit. How do you put together an outfit? Like, where do you start and where do you end? And I've been thinking about how to make this video for quite a while now because honestly, I don't have any technique or anything. But I figured today I would just take you along and show you how I put together some looks so that you can just kind of see what I look for in an outfit. So maybe I'll just start by telling you how I put together the outfit that I'm wearing today because it's kind of already about a few things that I really like to do with my outfits. So usually I start my outfits with a random piece. So I will literally just come inside my closet, look around and be like, okay, I want to build my outfit around this piece today. And today that piece were actually my tights. I absolutely wanted to wear them. I love the color. And so when I thought about how to style them, I really wanted them to be the standout piece of the outfit. That's why I decided to keep it really simple with like the black mini skirt and the black turtleneck. And because I didn't want it to be super dark, I added this little vest knitted thing, which this is like one of the biggest tips that I have for you. And that is to change shapes of your outfit. So as you can see, this is a pretty tight fit, but by adding this, it just makes it a little bit more relaxed because today I didn't want it to go for that completely figure hugging, super tight look. And then the next thing that I do is I tie together colors. So since the knitted thingy is white and I don't wear any other white colors in this look, I decided to add this belt to kind of repeat the light color. I did the same thing with this bangle, which is the same color as the tights, to also make this color pop more. And by repeating colors in your outfit, you really draw the attention to them and it just kind of looks a bit more put together overall. That is why my eyeshadow color is also the same color as the tights and the bangle. And then I added the black detailing to kind of go with all the black that I'm wearing. Since you can't see my shoes, I am wearing these heels. So as you can see, they're also more on the lighter side. Also, these are silver, which goes great with my necklaces. I'm also wearing some golden jewelry on my fingers, but that is just because I don't really mind mixing gold and silver, but I felt like these shoes would go perfectly with the look. I also kind of like that soft 70s feel that this outfit has. Then I also added some white earrings and this fun little hairdo and um, yeah, that is basically how I put together this outfit. So let me show you some more examples of items in my wardrobe and how I would put together an outfit with these items. Let's do something very different next. So I have this shirt. This is the Boy Howdy shirt from Cream the Magazine. I absolutely love this shirt. And I feel like with styling shirts like this, you can do a lot of different things. But one of my biggest tips would be to style it with some sort of bottom that doesn't have to be tight, but at least kind of be structured. So this shirt is super big on me. And if I just wear it like this, I kind of drown in it. So I feel like the best way to style shirts like this is by adding some sort of pant or skirt that at least gives you some definition at the waist. So this would obviously go great with just some flare jeans, a big belt and some tennis shoes, for example. I personally not very much into tennis shoes. I would probably wear it more with boots. But another fun way to style this would be by adding something like this. These are just some leather shorts. I absolutely love them. And as you can see, the shirt is a lot of white, red and black. So I would love to wear these with them. And because red is kind of the standout color here, I'd probably do something like adding a red beret. I feel like that would be so much fun with this look. And then probably just go for some simple shoes. Obviously just some black boots would do, but I also really like the idea of wearing it with these kind of platform shoes. I feel like that would just be such a fun style. And then I would probably also add a belt to this. I honestly feel like a belt like this would be a lot of fun, but I kind of would have to try this on because that might be a little bit much. A safer way to style it would probably be by just going with a belt like this one. So this is like a super easy outfit. And I feel like this is how I put them together. I go a lot for colors and shapes. That is pretty much what I look out for. So let me show you another example. So this time we're starting with a pair of bottoms. I have these awesome snake skin printed vintage flared not not really jeans but more of like regular pants i absolutely love them and i feel like these are such an amazing staple piece and that is kind of what i try to build my looks around so i start with like the loud piece and then i decide if i want to dress it up or dress it down so i feel like with this this would go great with like a black turtle like underneath and just some regular shoes. You could style this super easy, but I kind of feel like I want to go with the tan theme of this. 
So I feel like wearing this with a scarf like this. So this is just a big square scarf, but I like to tie this into a shirt. If you're interested in seeing how to tie scarves into shirts, because I do that a lot, leave a comment below telling me that because I could totally make a video about that. So I feel like this would be great. Then I feel like a look like this would be amazing with a lot of jewelry. I am really not shy when it comes to jewelry and that is a big fashion and styling tip that I have for you to just play around with it. Wear two, three, five, six necklaces, wear rings, wear earrings, just put them on, have a look at it and then you can always take something away but don't be afraid to overdo it. I feel like a lot of people always try to play it really safe with their outfits which i can totally understand that but i feel like a lot of the times when you look at someone and you're like wow that is an amazing outfit it's just because that person wasn't afraid of going all in so for me a look like this absolutely needs a belt i feel like a classic chain belt like this would be amazing with it i feel like it would just kind of tie the outfit together or going a bit of a different route this one would also be amazing i absolutely love the mixture of metal and leather and I feel like that would also look great with the pen so I don't know if this is like a common misconception but I know a lot of people only wear belts when their outfit has belt loops or when their outfit is kind of designed to be worn with a belt and that is another major fashion hack that I have for you and that would be to wear outfits with belts where the belt isn't functional so for example looking at the outfit that I'm wearing today I don't need this belt like this belt doesn't do anything it's just a fashionable choice for me but wearing the belt kind of breaks apart all of the black that I've got going on and that is what makes the outfit so much more interesting so my tip for you is to just wear a belt wear two belts wear three belts I feel like you can't overdo it with it just be a bit more creative I feel like everyone tends to wear the same outfit over and over again so some Sometimes I go in here and I'm like, okay, today I take, for example, this blouse and I'm gonna style it away. I've never done it before. I'm just gonna put some other things together. And I'll probably end up with a couple of outfits that I absolutely don't like, but after trying and retrying again, I will find an outfit that I really like. And that is just another big, big fashion tip that I have for you. Okay, so as said, that would be quite a look. So for shoes, so I kind of feel like these boots would go amazing with the look. I really love them with these pants. I personally really like the look of a long pant and a boot underneath. So I feel like this would be such an amazing look. And now to kind of even elevate it and make it even more interesting and special, I would add a coat to it, but not any coat, but probably something like this. This is a full fur coat. I absolutely love it. I talked about it before. I got it pre-used. All the leather and all the fur that I own is pre-used. I'm an animal rights activist. I would never buy leather not pre-used or fur not pre-used. I just believe that the most sustainable clothes are the ones already made. And that is why I wear fur and leather exclusively pre-used. So that would be like a whole new look. This is like a bold look, an interesting look. I know that a lot of people are kind of afraid to be the center of attention with their looks and I totally get that. But for me, a major breaking point in my life was when I decided that I don't wanna care about what other people think of me anymore. And don't get me wrong here, it's not like I said that and then boom, I didn't care anymore. It didn't happen like that. But day after day, I got more confident with who I am and with the looks that I wear. And now fashion gives me so much confidence. Like when there are days where I don't feel the best about myself, I'll put on an amazing outfit and it'll just help me love myself so, so much more. So don't be afraid to put together very loud pieces and style all of the looks that you wanna wear. So I personally spend a lot of Pinterest. If you wanna follow me on there, I have it linked down below. And on my Pinterest, I have a lot of style inspo pictures. So I will just go through Pinterest and kind of save all of the looks that I have. And then I go through my closet and just style items that look similar to that in a similar way. I feel like that's always a good way to go. So if you find someone, let's say you're a big fan of Anita Pellenberg and the way that she dressed, just have a look at it and then go through your closet and just kind of pick out what kind of looks the same and then start styling it and start having fun with it. So another big fashion tip that I have for you is to think outside of the box. This, for example, is a pretty long and big vest. And what I like to do with it is to just close all the buttons and wear it as a dress. 
it works perfectly fine for me I absolutely love the look and just because it wasn't designed as a dress intentionally it can still work like it and that is something that I learned over the years that like a shirt can't only be worn as a shirt but you could also tie it up and make it a crop top all the silk scarf you have you can put them in your hair and wear them as like a hair wrap you can wear them around your neck you can wear them as shirts you can wear them as belts and that is just so liberating kind of if you stop thinking in categories when it comes to your outfit so yes this is a waistcoat but it could also be a dress so let's move on to styling a dress i have this dress right here this one is pretty big and loose on me but i absolutely love it as you can see it used to be a lot longer and now it fits me pretty well and i kind of like that it is pretty loose on me so if you shorten your dresses i said it before i say it again keep the excess fabric and turn it into like a little band like this one you can later wear this as a scarf you can tie it in your hair you can tie it around your thigh you can just have so much fun with it and especially 60s and 70s clothing were a lot about repeating pattern so just like i explained that today i kind of went with the turquoise all over i love to do the same thing with patterns so i will wear this dress and then the headband with it just because i feel like that is the classic 60s look i also get a lot of questions from people asking how to wear the 60s and 70s look if you're not into exposing your legs all the time I totally get that. I personally like the mini skirt trend, but I totally get that that isn't for everyone. Or that sometimes you just wanna cover up your legs a bit more. So one thing that I really like to do is to kind of build up the outfit from my feet again so that my legs aren't shown completely. So imagine me wearing a dress like this. I could easily add a pair of black boots, knee-high boots for example, so the lower half of my legs would be covered. I could also wear this with white knee-high socks, so also the lower half of my legs would be covered. I could also wear this with tights or just some over-the-knee boots, or I could just wear this with some regular Mary Jane shoes. I feel like these are kind of the options that I would style with this. So as you can see, I kind of really decide on how much leg I wanna expose that day. Another big tip that I have for dresses like this is Obviously you can wear them untouched, so without a belt or anything, but don't be afraid to try wearing these with a belt. I feel like this dress could be so cute worn with a belt like this. And it also really makes the outfit something else. As said before, this is a looser dress, so by adding a belt, by adding some definition at the waist, it's already a whole different shape. I would probably also style this with a beret like this one, just to kind of add something a little bit extra. And that is like another tip that I have for you. I really love to wear accessories with every single look. So even if it's a t-shirt and jeans, I will wear necklaces, I will wear jewelry with it. Just because I feel like it makes your outfit so much more stylish. And I absolutely love to do that. If you don't like to do that, that is fine. But if you'd ask me on how to elevate an outfit, I would always say go for amazing jewelry. I also know that a lot of people tend to have one or two handbags and then they use it every single day. I totally get that that is a super convenient thing to do. I however keep all of my things in like little purses so that it's super easy for me to change my handbags. So with an outfit like this I would probably go with a classic 60s handbag like this one. I feel like that would be such an amazing look. As you can see, this whole look is also about tying colors together again. There's a lot of white involved. There's a lot of dark brown involved. I would probably wear dark brown boots with this. So maybe, maybe these ones. I feel like that would be such a cute look. And as you can see, this was really easy to put together. So as soon as I kind of have the staple piece, I just go through my closet and think about, okay, which colors are already in that outfit and how can I repeat them with the accessories. Next up, I'm styling these shoes. I just recently got them and these are like my 60s dream shoes. So I absolutely, absolutely love them. And I feel like these would go great with a band tee and flared jeans. But today I kind of want to try something different. So I feel like these would also go amazingly with a very classic and preppy 60s look. So I kind of feel like this blouse would be amazing to wear with it. And then obviously, Obviously you could just put on a mini skirt with this, but I feel like another great idea would be to just wear a super classic black dress with it. Okay, so, so far that's the look. Is it cute? Yes. Is it super stylish and fashion forward? No. And why is that? Because so far these are just three pieces with a very classic and simple color combo and there isn't really anything interesting happening in that outfit. 
So let me show you how I would make this outfit a lot more interesting and a lot more stylish. I feel like a great place to start here would be by adding a silk scarf. So this silk scarf still goes great with the color palette. As you can see, we kind of have a rusty red brown and then a black and white. And this one is white with orange and brown. So it's also a warm toned color. And I feel like that would already make the outfit so so much more interesting so next up i would love to add a belt and i decided to go with this one for a couple of reasons first of all it's also a brown and warm toned color so it goes great with the scarf and the shoes the shoe also has a circular detailing right here so that's great because that chain belt has that too and the last thing it and the last thing is that the materials match these bits of the belt are plastic just like the buckle on the shoe and i know that this seems super unimportant but it kind of really ties the look together. Next up, I picked this skirt. I absolutely love it. I just got it recently. This is a crocheted skirt. It is handmade and I absolutely love it. It's such a dreamy 70s piece and I feel like there are so many different ways on how to style this. I feel like an item like this one is a super classic and basic simple item. So a big trend of the 60s and 70s were all things crocheted. Since this is a crocheted skirt, I feel like it would be amazing to pair it with a crocheted top. So I feel like wearing this with this top would be such a cute look. Obviously this is like a super summery and hot outfit, but if it gets colder, I'll just put on a turtleneck underneath it. As said before, I absolutely love layering. I think it's an amazing thing to do. And I live in an area where it gets super hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. And I don't wanna be limited to not being able to wear my clothes all year round. So what I like to do is just layer and layer and layer and I feel like it works so, so well. I feel like I talk about this a lot, but shawls like this were a big 60s and 70s trend and I feel like it would go so well with like the whole dreamy fit of the outfit. I absolutely, absolutely love this. So I feel like this outfit would go great with a big sun hat. I put the brooch up here because it kept flapping down and I couldn't see. This is another fashion hack for you. If, if you have a super floppy hat like this one, this is just very bendy. Just get a nice little vintage brooch and pin it up. And now for shoes, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but it was a major 60s and especially 70s trend and I personally really love it. So I would probably wear this look with cowboy boots. I feel like this is the perfect kind of country American 60s outfit. I really, really love it and I think it would be such a cute look. So last but not least, I wanted to share an outfit with you that I kind of style around a vest. So this is an original 1960s vintage velvet vest it has these little mirror detailing and i absolutely love it i think this is such a gorgeous piece i find myself thinking oh this will never work with this this will never look good with that and then i don't even try it on and i feel like that is a really big and common mistake that there are so many pieces in your closet you probably overlook all the time so what i really recommend you to do is to go to your closet pick a piece of clothing that you don't really wear a lot Take it out and then pair it with something you might feel like won't look good. Maybe it won't look good, but maybe it will look amazing. And then just kind of find your way through it. Maybe you like a part of the outfit, then change another part up. I feel like a lot of the times people put on an outfit that is really bold and then something is kind of off about it and then they're like, ah, whatever, I'll just go back to jeans and t-shirts instead of working on the outfit. The reality for me at least is I don't go into my closet, pick out three things, and I always look amazing. It's like I put something on and then I look at myself and I'm like, mm, maybe I don't like this. For example, when I was putting together this outfit this morning, I wore a dark blue skirt and a dark blue turtleneck. And I looked at myself and I just noticed that something was off because the contrast of the outfit wasn't big enough. So instead of just going to like t-shirt and jeans and wearing what I wore yesterday, I worked on the look. Maybe it's just too much blue today. Maybe I really need that harsh contrast. And that was what made me really love the outfit. So that's another tip for you. Do not give up. Just try and try and try again. I feel like even though this is really special, it's also pretty simple. So this goes with a lot of amazing looks. And the way that I really like to wear this is to actually put it over 
a dress like this. So this is a psychedelic printed 1960s dress. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I feel like the dress profits so much from being worn underneath the West and the West profits so much from the dress because it just really ties together that psychedelic look. This reminds me so much of the Beatles' Patty Boy. I think it is such an amazing look. So with an outfit like this, I feel like a lot of people would style it the way that I initially did and that is by just adding some black boots. So that is obviously a very safe card. It works great. I wore this with the black shoes a couple of times. I really liked it. But then one day I paired another pair of shoes with it and that is what made me really fall in love with the outfit. So as you can see, there are some little white details in the dress. And one day I was just like, why not try this with white go-go boots? And here's what happened. By adding white go-go boots, the white details of the dress are so much more in focus, which just makes the whole dress look so much brighter and not as dull anymore as it was with all the black. So I feel like sometimes, even if there's the teeniest, tiniest bit of color detailing, try to pick up that color because it might elevate your look to a whole new level. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I know it was kind of a bit random and a bit all over the place, but that is how I put together my outfits and I really hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed the video, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would mean so, so much. Please leave a comment down below telling me if you have any styling tips, any tips on how you put together outfits. I feel like we can all profit by sharing the knowledge. If you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, subscribe to this channel because I upload multiple videos every single week all about that. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!